Hello and welcome back to the end of the Appalachian State season one, year one, uh, where we ended up going eight and five and we're kind of mediocre the whole season, but we have a big time uh, off season to look forward to because of some great recruits that we got towards the end of the season, as well as some recruits that we don't know whether or not we're going to sign. So this video is kind of a culmination of the whole season, a little bit of the kind of like off season, preseason, next step sorts of things where you go through um, the end of the year. So we're gonna finish the last little bit of recruiting, go through position changes for the athletes, go through cuts, red shirts, things along those lines, and then setting up the uh, last little bit of the next season's recruiting board. Um, I will open up next season with a bit of a practice uh, leading into the first, first game um, and kind of like set that up. Uh, but all that being said, thank you all so much for checking out the entirety of this first year uh, again eight and five ended up with a bull win and we're definitely looking to kind of build on this medium level of success and trying to kind of launch us into the next uh, section of success ideally conference championship if we can get a conference championship potentially we can get a pretty good bowl game and maybe if things fall the right way uh, end up one of those January bowls uh, but yeah thank you all again so much enjoy the content we are here following the end of the season the bowl game the gasparilla bowl where we ended up beating southern miss got a bowl victory head coach alford avenue going eight and five in our first year our job is safe got a b minus prestige so that's good building some of this prestige for the team um we were one and one against our rivals we got smoked pretty bad uh by one of them and then we won the second one which was good top 25 we beat number 19 UCF earlier in the season the big win got our first bowl game that was uh first bowl win and our first bowl game uh that was the goal the whole season um as you can see last season we went 111 this season eight and five with a bowl win I would love to get you know ranked in the top 25 have better performances just not get scored on quite as much and just have just like better defense more dynamic offensive players i felt like our offense was pretty anemic until we started using ryan Berger. um so what i'm going to do today is take a look at some of the some of the stats from the season kind of go over like the players and things along those lines so one of the cool things from this is you can see the season leaders uh, along the right hand side of the screen there um, our quarterback didn't do well. We split time. Uh, Ryan Berger had about 1,200 yards compared to his 7, 1,500. We'll get into that in a little bit. The, the cool thing to me is later on in this list, we didn't run a, weren't run a bunch until later. I probably should have trusted the ground game a little bit more. But all that being said, before I get into the details, the goal for this video is to go through and do all the off-season stuff. So coaching carousel, I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying at App State. Um, to go through recruiting, uh, to go through the red shirt phase, to go through the team up to, like upgrade process where kids go through the training at the end of season, um, kind of look through all of that, and to get started into the next season uh, so that we can do the um, picking the new the new recruiting class, build out people. But yeah, so the focus of, of that video, I want to make sure to go through and do um, the beginning part of next season as well, so getting the the schedule done, getting the red shirting process done, uh, recruiting, and then to get into some practices. This might be a little bit of a longer stream, uh, but I want to make sure to um, practice with the new team, um, setting up plays that we can see uh, how our different quarterbacks will run because Joey Aguilar was not my favorite quarterback to use. Um, and we've got two new quarterbacks coming in through recruiting this year uh, at least one potentially two and so i'd like to see how they play versus what i did last year which was going in blind all of that being said uh we can get it back into the stats here uh we got caden robinson uh, one of our standout receivers i believe he's a sophomore we'll be able to see in a little bit but the crazy thing to me this was what was so impressive to me is that uh, Favors, who is one of our sophomore strong safeties, I believe, he had the most tackles and was close to the most amount of interceptions, but especially on our team. One of the cool things about this season was even though it felt like... So it's two two sides of this, right? Parker, I think, was one of our linebackers. 
and favors is one of our uh safeties so that means that our parker might have been a defensive lineman but essentially this means that one of our leading tacklers and one of the leading tacklers in the nation was one of our safeties which means plays were getting past our first and second lines of defense and which is not a good thing so hopefully we'll be able to like lower that and then get more interceptions and get more tackles for loss from our from our defensive linemen which i felt were pretty ineffective throughout the year collins had a bunch of sacks this year Clo you know i'm sure there's a million people between number 10 and number 50 that were at five uh, seven sacks um interception leader out one of our players so this is huge with with our defense even though we got scored on a bunch, we actually had some decent defensive play. I don't know if that's because we really showed out against the, the worst teams and then got blown out by the big teams. Um, I think that's closer to what happened, but hopefully we'll be able to kind of like round that out a little bit. Our defense is pretty young, uh, so we should be able to grow on that and stand on uh, last season's shoulders. Cool, so we're going to take a look at the season stats. So Ryan Berger um, was our backup quarterback who I ended up uh, essentially... He played a couple games because Joey Aguilar was hurt, and then I stayed with Aguilar just because, I don't know, things were okay. But if you look here, they had, you know, Ryan Berger had definitely less games. I think he played in, like, four games. I'd have to go back and look. I think he played in four or five games. And for the time that he played, he had about 50 less attempts actually exactly 50 less attempts almost as many yards then he had 16 touchdowns and 11 interceptions whereas joey aguilar had like 1500 yards 11 touchdowns and 16 interceptions now ryan Berger's yards per game was lower but he was able to run the ball as you can see here like he was our second leading rusher with way less game time than anyone else so if i'd used him the whole year i think we could have been a little bit more of a dual threat team um nate noel uh, he is graduating he was a speed back I, we didn't get really into using him as well as we should have till later in the season um hopefully we'll be able to kind of grow on that receiving Caden robinson is a sophomore um he was really good for some of those long ball plays over the top uh we ended up beating people um on a lot of those go routes or four verts with him. Deshaun Davis really came through late in the season to make a lot of the like third and long catches across the middle, um, some of those crossing routes, things like that. And he scored a lot of touchdowns as well. Um, Christian Horn wasn't super noticeable, but he also just didn't drop the ball as much as I felt like Eli Wilson did, who was our uh, starting tight end. And I ended up actually moving for Larkins later. Um, I had switched up the depth chart because Wilson was dropping so many balls. It was really pissing me off. I don't remember um, Tucker doing a bunch, but he seemed to do okay. Uh, we have a young receiving core that I think should grow with this year because we've signed two wide receivers straight out already and then some athletes that can play either. We gave up a lot of sacks, like a lot of sacks. Um 15 17 18 19 20 sacks given up this year that's something that we have to get better at our three strongest players are were seniors uh left guard right guard and center uh, we need to replace one of those guards he's going to be one of our top uh recruits of the season uh, i believe it's brian not brian helms went with someone else it's mike uh so something or other we'll we'll take a look at that before we get into the next stuff or maybe we won't because we're in something else right now now defensively Andrew Parker like I said he was a linebacker and then uh Jordan Favors was a safety uh uh Andrew's gonna be graduating but Jordan Favors I think is gonna be a huge uh junior player for us next season um and being able to build on he made a bunch of tackles but he's still a cover guy had a ton of interceptions um we are graduating three four four defense defensive backs and then a lot of young stuff um yeah overall we had a decent defensive effort we led the nation in rushing yards allowed on the season um i think we were number one overall almost the entire year um lots of tackles for loss mr deandre dingle prince um love him dingle bit kringleberry up in this piece he had a bunch of sacks sean collins was our left end 
He had a bunch of sacks. I would have liked to see more from, uh, where was that right end? Oh, Ding uh, Dingle was our, uh, Dingle Prince was our right end. So we, we got a good, good deal of pressure from our pass rushers there. Um, interceptions, as you see, led by Ethan Johnson. He's a sophomore, so just more to come from him. Um, I think we had, let's see how many touchdowns we had. So Fundaberg and Jordan Favors both had touchdowns. That's big. Um, interception wise, the, the leader of the team, obviously Ethan Johnson, Jordan Favors, Funderburg had a couple, um, and then just a couple others from uh, a couple other players. Um, only one or two. Okay, so we had five uh, forced fumbles. So Jordan Favors, again, hugely productive on the defense. Uh, he would honestly probably be my standout player. He's the most memorable of all the players. Uh, you just saw his name and the star underneath him all the time. I feel like our defensive tackles were just not... I don't have any rem any memories of them really throughout the whole season other than setting QB spies. Nick Ross, I remember, but he's a senior. Um, and then Andrew Parker's a senior as well. So hopefully with some of the replacement uh, recruitments, uh, recruits that we have, should be able to do pretty well replacing some of that defense. Um, Andrew Parker, again, fumble recovery. Sean Collins, defensive lineman. And then Omari Filial, uh was a one of our good cornerbacks. He played a lot of the, a lot of the slot, um, which was, which was nice. Yeah, Filial was our uh, slot corner. Um, he occasionally, when I would get into dime packages, would also play as a primary, like press, uh, press defensive back. Um, he had a decent press, which is why he was so good as that uh, slot receipt that slot, sorry, slot corner, because um, he would keep those dudes stuck at the line so he couldn't get their quick release routes um he's quick he's not fast fast he doesn't have blistering speed um and you know he wasn't a big hitter um but hopefully you know his 64 catching hopefully he'll improve that over the seasons and be able to get more playing time next year as well as more interceptions um kicking i mean it's really a non-issue. I missed like one field goal all year. I don't remember what it was, um, but he was effective. Made all of his uh, made all of his uh, point after touchdowns. I was about to say free kicks. Uh, kick returns. We did have one kick return for touchdown. It was uh, Deshaun Davis, who really should not have been taking returns. He's kind of slow. I mean, he's got quick acceleration, but that makes him good off the line. Not necessarily good in in kick returns. His agility is helpful, but yeah, overall. Um, a middle of the road season, which I think is reflected by our eight and five, uh, record and, and our bowl win. So we really started to come together there at the end, which made it great. But yeah. So excited to get into next season. Anyways, I'm going to stay with this. We're going to advance to the next stage. So we got a new offensive coordinator. I think that'll help us a lot. And let's go on to players leaving. Interesting. The punter is heading to virginia tech i'm gonna try to keep him <clears throat> yeah you're you're good i mean uh yeah i don't care you're you you got redshirted this year anyways i think so all right so let's take a look at the seniors we got michael fletcher uh he didn't really play all that much if i remember he was behind dingle prince spellman um he might have played a little bit mcknight's graduating deshaun he didn't play much our senior center um let's do it by overall uh we've got ian isaiah helms uh who is our center our right guard bucky williams um we're gonna really miss these guys on the offensive line their seniority was great hopefully we can have some underclassmen step into place and become bulwarts on that offensive line nate noel mid-level production nick ross was big on the defense andrew parker deshaun davis is going to be missed on the offense fletcher like I said, he didn't really do much, if I remember correctly. Uh, Milan Tucker, another middling offensive lineman. Thunderbuck, big-time defensive back. Um, Ryan Berger is going to be the big one that we miss. We'll have to see what it's going to be like having a new quarterback. That will be at the end of this episode. Um, really not a ton of of, of folks swapping uh, that, or that are graduating that really had much playing time. So... We're kind of going to be a new look team next year, but have some familiar faces as well. 
All right, let's see the draft results. Did we have anybody? No one got drafted from our team. I did not expect that they would, and that is A-OK. -okay. Kool-Aid McKinstry. Let's see who got drafted from Auburn, if anybody. Jarquez Hunter. That makes sense. Oh, he, he declared early to go for the sixth round. Gross. Let's see where uh, it was the Duke quarterback... It wasn't the Duke quarterback. Was it North Carolina quarterback? Maybe the... Oh, yeah, Drake May. So he went fourth round. Interesting. Okay. All right. Okay, let's see if we got any transfer requests. No transfer requests. Nobody wants to come to Appalachian State. That is okay. I will cry about it later. All right, recruiting. This is the big one. We have... We lost our biggest recruit, Jet Maverick. He's a trader, and oh. I used to love him, but I don't anymore. Still on the board quarterback-wise, we've got Charles Smith, um, and then Mike White is one we need to get. Mike Smith is not a need. Um, I did have some people added towards the end of the season that aren't necessarily in our wheelhouse, but I'm going to try and get them. Okay, so I need a quarterback, two fullbacks, and a guard cornerback and a punter so i really do need that corner this is like the most nerve-wracking part because you have to like plan ahead is usc gonna go crazy after this guy like i don't want to lose him you know what i mean they already signed a guy this year are they gonna get are they gonna try to get two you know like what's the deal with that ucla what are they doing oh this is the stressful part of recruiting this guy's quarterback material this is kind of stressful okay um, quarterback. I mean, he's all right. Must get Mike White. We're going to do 4K on him. We're going to do 4K on... I mean, Ben, uh, Ben Jet, if you're in here, do you think I should do even more for either one of these? I mean, this is like scary shit. We're in a battle with them. Yeah, we're not going to get him. I'm going to remove him from the board. So, 700. He's on me. He locked me out. I don't want him anyways. He's trash. I'm probably going to sign him no matter what, so I'm not going to put anything into him. Okay. Last on the board, we have our guard, hopefully, replacement for next year, Mike White. Big recruiting battle with USC. Um, number 25 guard in the nation. Um, we look like a good fit for him. Um, he's got tons of playing time. The only thing that might be a big loss for us is the uh, program tra tradition that USC has. Mike Smith doesn't look like a great fit, but he's a great JUCO corner. Would love to pick him up. I mean, having him would be huge. Uh, defensive end, Michael Anderson. We're kind of a come behind, come from behind here. Um, we may lose out on him. As cool as he would be to get, I think I can get better Juco guys later. And then if I lose by like fucking 20 points on these dudes, I'm going to be so sad. <sighs> okay. Charles Smith, quarterback prospect, who's an athlete. He can also play in the secondary, so he's a good both-sided ball player. Cedric Hall, really fast wide receiver. Would love to get him. Um, pull him into the squad would be awesome. Um, his catching is okay in spectacular catches. He seems like a more traditional, just like, he catches it when he's open, but if there's anybody around him, he doesn't do great. Um, decent route running. 
this halfback is okay super fast but not a whole lot else lots of speed just not gr great break tackle really good elusiveness there at 86 he might be a decent return man 83 return um and this is a really fast probably like good long receiver uh matt cooper with a 92 speed there 84 acceleration not great uh in quick routes um but looks like his route running and his catch and traffic are decent enough that he'll probably be able to play with us uh pretty quickly um i really want to try for this dude but i'm not going to all right we are going to advance here and see what we can do the moment of truth hell yeah dude okay so i don't remember michael anderson necessarily but mike smith we got the corner we got that good wide receiver. We got Mike White, who we really wanted. Uh, the, the the guard and the corner we wanted and the quarterback. Um, I The USC, the outside linebacker, I don't remember him. We're going to take a look now um, at the folks that we lost there. We got more three-star prospects. Next year, I'm going to try and get more four-star prospects. Um, it looks like we signed eight people. I don't know where we would have gotten those people from. But let's take a look uh, at the final recruiting board. Um, so Demarcus Harris, he did not sign with anybody. Um, don't understand that. Charles Smith was the athlete. Uh, he can play quarterback. He might be our starter depending on how much Joey Aguilar improves. Cedric Hall, that fast wide receiver. We ended up getting him. That's awesome. Big win there. He's that really fast guy. 93 overall, I think. It doesn't show here. Uh, we'll be able to see some of the improvement stuff uh, later after this. I wasn't expecting to get this running back. It would have been cool. Um, he is really good, but we just we didn't get him. I wasn't super trying for this guy. Um, I wasn't super going for Elliot, but he would have been a cool one to get. Michael Anderson. Oh, see, if I had put a little bit more into him, we could have got him. I didn't end up put if I had put the 700 into him like I was planning on doing I probably would have gotten that guy um I wonder how much we won the oh wait where's that really good center back I mean center back cornerback Mike Smith okay damn so we we beat them though by 4,000 so we didn't really even need to put the points into him like we thought I could have put Dang, I could have not put any points into them. That's weird. And gotten that defensive end. But that's okay. Frank Johnson. Okay, he'll be a depth guy for us. Um, very cool. That is a good recruiting class. So the big, uh, the big people that I'm most excited for are going to be Mike Smith. Um... And then we have the Mike White. It's going to be great on the offensive line. Um, I think he, yeah, so he's a three-star. Cedric Hall at wide receiver. Super good, 77 overall pickup. Um, I think it was Anthony Pickens is going to be an athlete. I think he was a defensive back, like free safety build. Um, and then he might have been the quarterback. Not a terrible recruiting class. Obviously not as good as we could have been. No four stars, but we had, I think, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight three-star recruits. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, two-star, and then a couple one stars. And these guys were either not good or they were JUCOs. And that's okay. 104th ranked recruiting class. I would love to get in the top 50 next season. We're projected to be in the 40s over the next couple of seasons and then have a pretty top pretty good top 25 for 2016 that's with the recruiting class that we just signed um i need to see how many of them were juco's but we can cross that bridge later overall not a great school but we can we can get better we're not a great program but we can get better so that's all of the signings that we got we signed 17 players cool this is where we can change over this is the positions changes we can change over any of the athletes to their you know preferred positions and whatnot change any running backs where we want to all that sort of thing i mean that guy's crazy what is he 77 overall rated for defensive 
Do I make this guy a quarterback or do I make him a cornerback or do I make him both? Dude, this guy's a really good defensive back. Oh man. This guy's the other quarterback. Oh, dude. This guy, that dude's like really good. Wait, is this the quarterback? 6'4", that guy's huge. Oh, man. I am not going to set either of them yet. So we'll take a look at Pickens real quick and see what his best like ratings are. Probably wide receiver, yeah. He could be a 75 overall free safety. Zone coverage, release. I mean... He's pretty fast. I mean, dude, this guy is nuts. I want to play him both ways. He might be a good... Let's put him in outside linebacker. This is difficult. Okay, so let's do... Was that left outside linebacker? Okay, so left or right outside linebacker? We'll do left outside linebacker. This is so hard. And that's what she said. So this guy is straight up a quarterback. He's not really good at anything else. He can kind of be a defender. You are gonna, you are gonna be a quarterback. This guy can be a wide receiver or a better free safety. Um, what's that free safety looking like? 74. Uh, you are more likely to play at free safety. We're gonna put you at free safety. Got this guy, bro, Ben. This guy, look at this guy. So he's nine. He's 5'11", 180. So he's a little short. 92 speed, 80 agility, 85 acceleration, decent break tackle, good elusiveness, not great ball carrier vision, good spin move, good juke, decent carrying, okay catching, whatever. His throwing power is 80 and his throwing accuracy is 85. But then his like coverage stuff is all of this. So if you look at him at a quarterback, he's like 76 overall. Let me see what my starting quarterback would be. I don't want to play Aguilar. So he would start at quarterback. I don't know if he's going to get any improvement in the offseason or whatever. But <clears throat> 76 overall. Or he could be a corner at 77. Or a free safety at 79. And at corner, <clears throat> he would be my second best corner. And he would be my best <clears throat> overall free safety. Right, Michael Vick. That's what I'm saying. So, I run a pro-style offense, though. So, I'm running the ball. Lots of rollout, play-action stuff. He's got, I think, 85 accuracy. That's pretty good. Is that our quarterback? Are we making Are we making this dude our quarterback? David Joseph? I wanted to make Jet Maverick, but that dude's, you know, a traitor. So, what do I do here? Are we talking quarterback? 76? Should I flip a coin? Dude, look. 89 or 79 overall free safety. But, so I have a lot of depth. I have a lot of depth at free safety currently. They're going to improve. Gotcha. I see what you mean. So at quarterback. Oh, dude. He's already got more power and more accuracy. Actually, all of our quarterbacks do. I'm going to I'm going to move him. I'm going to make him a quarterback. Defensively, I signed a couple other dudes. Yeah, I'm going to put him at quarterback. It's going to be he's not going to be as good as whatever, but I think that's a wise decision. And I moved Pickens over. We picked up this guy who's really good, so we've got a lot of good depth there. I run a lot of additional safety coverages, which is great. Cornerback wise, we just signed Mike Smith who's coming in as a JUCO guy. That's great. And then I transitioned. Uh, this guy also got signed. Lots of JUCOs signed. One of the guys I moved over, uh, he was a JUCO athlete. I may just run with a tight end in there. Or run. I'll just change the depth chart. I'm not going to change positions for him. Um, I do not have a lot of depth on the offensive line at all. This year's going to be tough. 
see if I can make him center rated. 71. Let's look at left guard, 73. Right guard, all right, it's 72. Okay, he can kind of play any of the positions. Right tackle, 70. Not a huge drop off. Okay, interesting. Ooh, okay. Dang. He's a lot better. He's a freshman? Let's go. Okay. Britain, he's tragic. Oh lord. Okay. God, we're bad. We're so bad, and we didn't improve much. I'm so sad. Okay, so right end, Dingle Prince, left end, Lance Smith. He's gonna be a lot of fun to use. Collins, I used last year, but I hate to break it to you, Collins. I think you're about to get passed by. Okay, I think we are good. We're missing a lot of folks, but uh let's keep the changes. And go to the next stage. That is it on the players. Moved over our four athletes. We got new Michael Vick. Oh, God. Training results. Okay. Caden Robinson. All right. So, quarterback. Joey Aguilar is an 82 overall. I still think we're going to make other guy the quarterback. Just because, I mean, he's so tragic. Yeah. Like, 75 throw power. No accuracy. That's busted, dude. Um interesting so we've got a couple balance guys and a speed guy um mikel haywood i might be running with amani marshall he's a big boy Kanye roberts little speed back anderson castle power back he had a lot of production there cool caden robinson's good christian horn okay Let's see how, how much our catching increased because we had some bad catching. Dude, way better. Okay. Wilson and Larkins. Okay, good. Junior, senior. I wish Larkins would have gotten more, but that's okay. Nice. 82 overall. That's big, dude. Collins got some new stuff, so he might not he might not have lost his positioning there. Man, Dinka Prince get, didn't get any upgrade for real Clark's a little faster Hopper's still kind of slow I mean still kind of low all right so let's look at the linebackers good I like coverage guys coverage guys okay see my problem is I have a whole bunch of coverage guys at linebacker and no one hits hard and they all get beat in their like their tackle is tragic it probably looks good but yeah like that's after upgrades our dudes are so weak at tackling it's in the 70s we have no one in like the 80s in tackling it's crazy got a bunch of hard hitters i may need to switch up the hard hitters as linebackers and some coverage guys uh as cornerbacks luckily i got mike smith i think he'll be the second over on the on the depth chart 78 overall uh most speed improvement jordan favors love to see that strength our left tackle and right tackle center guard center all improved a bunch in the strength category our highest catching Caden robinson larkins we love larkins wilson is tragic spectacular catch catching traffic dog water none of our wide receivers are great at catching traffic route running no great route runners oh this is tough okay all right we are gonna go to the next stage here got to get rid of some players but i don't think i have to because we i don't think have a full all right we have the perfectly full squad i don't think we're gonna cut anybody we're at a full roster we had to add three um what you call it three 
walk-on players. Uh, so next season, we need to make sure we try and recruit a little bit better. Do I want to move Louisville out of our conference? Let's take a look at the Big Ten. There's so many people missing from this. I'm just going to leave it how it is and just continue to play all that sort of stuff. We're good. We're good to go. We're good. We're good to go. Preseason. All right. We are going to redshirt some players here. Uh, I'm going to redshirt Duncan. I know he's a Juco, but he's not going to play. I mean, maybe he'll get better. You are going to get redshirted because you're not going to play unless somebody gets hurt. You should probably get redshirted. Um, you should also get redshirted. That should be fine. 373. You're probably not going to play immediately. That's okay. Good. That's okay. Um, five corners. He'll play, I'm sure. Free safety, Ryan Colbert. He should be redshirted. What was that corner at? How much lower? 68. Okay. That's interesting. All right, we're gonna set up the depth chart. Um, look, we are gonna put our new quarterback. David Joseph, the junior, 5'11", 180 pounds as the starting quarterback. And I'm 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 about it. I'm proud of it. But, okay, good. Amani Marshall's starting running back. That's what I want. Um, this guy's a scat back, little quick runner. Hollis for Hamlet. Um, Robinson is the one. Um, we'll see how it plays out. Test him out in practice. I'm going to put Larkins in. I just prefer him to you, Wilson. I just do. And I'm sorry. His catching is better. All of his catching is better. You're kind of tragic. You're a great blocking tight end, but not a great number one. And that's okay. Cool. Left guard. Center. Okay. Right guard. Right guard. Okay. Cool. I'm cool with that. Collins, that's fine with me. Dingle Prince, and then the the young guy as well. That's cool with me. I think we got a good looking team here. Sullivan is second string. Okay, cool. And then get him in at uh at as the second string middle linebacker. I like it. Bro, have him be our fourth string cornerback. Look at that. That's sick. Oh my god, he's gonna be so good. I could have had him be a really good corner. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Having him play both ways, that's fun. I like that. We had four prospects. It's four of my good buddies that we're, they we're adding to the thing. I'm going to try and get them. They are higher rated players, but, you know, we're just having fun with this. I'm not trying to make this crazy difficult on myself. Um, But let's take a look here. Oh, my God. He's so good. I made I made y'all all too good. I'm not getting any of y'all. I am getting none of you guys. Oh my god, I effed up. I should have made y'all more within my Oh, that was so stupid. Oh well. I made y'all too good. No. Okay. All right, let's see what our team needs are this year. All right, I need a running back. That's good. Um I need a kicker. Yeah, whatever. And then defensively, Okay, strong safety. Uh, I can handle that. I can take that. So with a running back, a kicker, I do need to increase some of the like quality of our players. Like a star quarterback would be cool. Our current one is not great. Um, but all right, let's start by interest. All right, let's see. I'm going to go to uh, the search here. We're going to do interest top school. Get them in there. 16 matches. Okay. I mean, none of these dudes are that great. 
Man, these dudes are all kind of trash. Ugh. Okay, so then let's do top three. Dude, none of these guys are good. Holy crap. We gotta get some better recruit. I mean, that dude's a four star. He might be decent. Let's take a look at him. This is gonna be tough. Poor Hunter. Athlete. Okay. Well, this should be interesting. At least we have more people naturally interested in us. I'm gonna go to top 10 here. Bro, this is gonna be an interesting. All right, that, if I get any of these players, I'm gonna be so surprised. I have both. Do I want to waste space with hunters? Probably not, but I'm going to at first. All right, so we're gonna go by rank. So all these dudes are in our pipeline. None of them are really interested. The speed guy. Obviously, this guy's not coming to us. He might come. He's got to be higher rated than that. Dude, some of these guys are nuts. I mean, I want to get some dudes on the board that are, like, interested. But, like, it's, that's going to be a little tough, you know? We love that. We love this guy. That guy's good. I really, really hope. I should have put you in Huntsville again, like with everybody else, or in Boone, I guess, to make you in my actual uh, pipeline to make it easier for myself, but I actually just made it damn near impossible, which is kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. I'm probably not gonna sign y'all, which, really bums me out um which maybe next season i'll learn to not be an idiot you know that guy's trash but that guy's not terrible and if i get one of these guys i can make one of them a kicker sure 74 bro damn he's like not bad okay so let's go fly a kite up to the highest height All right, how many more recruits do I have? Okay, we'll do a quarterback, balance, three-star. Okay, he's already on my board. Michigan, okay. All right, we're at 31 of 35. Recruiting this season is going to be tough. Uh, I mean, he might be better. These guys all suck. North Carolina. That wide receiver from North Carolina, I'm going to put him on there, and I'm going to drop some of those uh, dudes that I just added, uh, some of these quarterbacks, these tragic ones. Bye, Freddy. Sorry, Freddy. You're garbage. Um, there you go. He's from my home state. We might could get him. I doubt we're going to get him, but we will see. I really don't need to scout them because I know what they all are. necessary 
This is gonna be a tough year. I don't wanna find him. He's garbage. That's all right. Gee, get off my board. Oh, uh, let's see if this guy's. I've got a little bit left for these this strong safety. I need to be looking for other strong safeties. Let me let me look at those any strong safeties up here. Uh and none of those are. See if there's any Juco guys on the board. Man. So really you gotta go for like the top top recruits here. Okay. Um I just even with like an eight thing, I just don't feel like they're he's fast. I'll look at him, but he's not very good. Um, Utah, I guess. Um, Georgia. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna take a look at these guys. See if they if they if they are up to the snuff. But uh, yeah, this is gonna be an interesting season here. Uh, not scouted yet. Where are these strong safeties? Okay. Okay. He's a lot better. Oh, no points. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I will move them up the board accordingly. You guys are my tops. Um, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Okay. Thank y'all again so much for tuning in to the Appalachian State Dynasty. This was kind of a recap of the offseason, a little bit of the preseason leading into season two. We have some huge new star power coming in with a lot of hope sitting in the hands of David Joseph. Um, and hopefully what can be a more high-powered offense and a more productive defense. I think, you know, we had some cool interceptions, but our uh, tackling ability kind of let us down in the late run. Um, but yeah, tune in for next season to see how the Mountaineers fare in season two. I do stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays from seven to nine, the NCAA content, and I upload videos on Mondays and Fridays. I appreciate all of the views, all the likes, all the subscriptions, comments, whatever. I appreciate it all so much. It's been really cool to just kind of consistently post things and have people um, engage in that way. Um, if you are enjoying the content, please feel free to leave a like down below. And if you want to see more in the future, feel free to subscribe. Thank y'all so much. Uh, enjoy the Appalachian State Dynasty. See you.